did you know you could actually create a professional animated instagram reel inside of canva without stressing too much look this is actually very easy and i'm actually going to be showing you how to do that you don't have to stress at all okay and uh, before we get into it just in case you don't know my name my name is benjamin i'm a verified canva expert based in ghana and just in case you're looking for interesting and challenging canva tutorials that would help you upgrade your skills and i think this is the channel you have to be sleeping on okay <laughs> anyway so please make sure to subscribe if this is the first time and then without any further ado let's dive straight into canva and let's get started here we are in canva and the first thing we're going to do is to create our dimension okay so come to create a design and can, you know you can just come to social media but already i'm seeing instagram reel over here if you can't see it this is it okay so i'll just click on instagram reel and it should load beautifully for me today my internet is actually uh, working well so i think we would have less stress okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to work on the background so make sure you're coming into color and i'm going to teach you how to create an you know very simple gradient okay so here we are in gradient so come here okay the first color we are going to use a red you know christmas is red 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 stuff okay and then uh, once you choose the first color just make sure you are choosing the circular gradient okay so come into circular gradient then select the second color choose the color picker okay and just make sure you're you know selecting from the first color it's just like what i did very easy and it's very simple then reduce you know this side a little bit just to get a darker red and once you do that this is the type of gradient you have very very beautiful yeah, okay boy. now that we've done that let's move on to arranging the element so come into element okay and search for christmas decoration decoration all right so once you do that you should find a lot of like interesting christmas stuff so at this point you need to actually take your time to find you know any decoration you want to use so i would use this one okay i think it works nice i can put this here okay and i think i've seen another option okay but the second option doesn't look real it looks too graphic like i want something did i say too graphic i want something that looks like an actual image okay so if i don't find or if you don't find anything like that you can easily just duplicate this one okay so to duplicate you know right click you know then just select duplicate or you can use ctrl d for duplicate then let's just flip flip okay and this i arrange it here very easy very simple very nice the next um element we are going to use is the flick you know those christmas flick stuff that's what we are going to use for the next element okay so you can just come here and search for snowflake okay yeah snowflake and you should see a number of snowflakes in there choose the option you want okay and i want the option that will help me to change color or if anything that is white you know that should work for me okay so this is white and uh, it's not it's actually gray so i'll just make it white okay and um, that is it so we are going to be doing a number of things first of all you see when i place it here it's in front okay so you can use alt plus one to open the um, layers tab or you can right click layer and show layers okay it's, it should show if you don't have the layers open in here so if i click or close this and i do that you know layer you can see we have show layers over here so that's what you need to do okay so we will bring this all the way to the back okay and then we can duplicate using ctrl d and just create a number of variations okay so just duplicate and be arranging them nicely on your design okay so we'll just bring everything to the back so we'll just duplicate and add some few more okay so like this and like that and that is what we have right now now let's add another version of the snowflake okay so at this point we are going to choose any snowflake that has multiple you know like a lot like this okay uh-huh so so that it makes it would make our work easy and uh, simple okay so you can see what we have at the moment okay so make sure everything is at the back then we can just select everything okay so once you select or use the alt plus one to open them and press and hold control and just select the element you don't want to include okay once you do that you can just come to transparency and we will just reduce the transparency a little bit okay so once you do that make sure the arrangement you know just make sure you are doing some nice arrangements so that everything looks clean 
in your design okay so that's all you would want to do and just keep some of them bigger and some you can just reduce the size just to make sure everything is looking beautiful in here okay then i think i'll just add one more and yeah i think this this works once we have this the next thing we are going to do is to add our text so press t on your keyboard to add a text okay and we'll just increase this text over here then we can say wishing you a happy okay so wishing you a happy and um, let's change the color first of all we'll change the font type okay no the typeface okay so we'll change it soon so a happy and we'll duplicate this and we'll just say christmas okay so christmas over here and the christmas would want it to be big okay so this is what we are going to say press l on your keyboard to add a line okay so bring it here and increase the weight of the line make sure you're increasing it a little bit and duplicate it as well then we will duplicate this again and this is just going to say and okay and we have a happy new year okay so this is what we just want to say so let's change the color of these lines to white as well okay now that we've done this i want us to change the font or the typefaces okay so the first one we have over here we are going to be using what we call le jour or le jour le jour serif okay so le jour serif that's what that's how to spell it okay le jour serif so you can see this is what we have over here and it's a free font in Canva, so you don't have to worry. And for this Christmas, we are going to be using Great Vibes. I think that's the font, Great Vibes. Okay, it's a script font. So that's what we're going to use for this. And you can see what we have over here just like this okay and the remaining ones are also going to take the same le jour font okay and the end over here is going to take the same font so right click copy style and paste copy style again and just click okay just to paste on this one okay so we can see that the element behind is really competing with this you know with our text so let's do this again let's just make sure we are making everything look good okay so open the element to select all the snowflakes select the first one over here scroll down press and hold shift and select on the last one over here and we'll select everything okay and to do select these two which don't have to be selected we'll just press and hold control okay then click them so you can see this is what we have at the moment and we'll just come back into transparency and reduce the transparency more okay so you can see this is what we have at the moment okay so now i don't know where this is coming from so i'll just close it so now let's just arrange everything nicely over here so wishing you can be at the top over here and this can be here you can also bring this here okay and we can have our end over here and you can see what we are doing so let's use positions in arrange to make sure everything is centered nicely okay yeah so i think we are doing a good job and we are progressing very quickly I'm so with these lines if you're not comfortable with it you can actually reduce the lines width. okay just to make sure everything is looking good all right and also make sure your line or the lines are aligned properly okay so now that we've done this the next thing we are going to do is to apply the animations on these um, elements okay so just watch how we are going to do make sure you follow this aspect carefully okay so the first one we want to start with this okay so we click on the two of them all right and just come to animate so under animate there are a few animations in here canvas added a new one okay but we just want to add maybe the blur or any of these in the succession but i think the blur makes it fade in slowly and that's what we want okay or what we can even do is we can click on this you know just this alone work on animate come to rise okay and it should rather come to the bottom okay then select the same for this rise it should come uh -huh. so you see this drops to the bottom this drops or moves to the top okay so the next thing we want to do is that the bigger snowflakes we have over here we want to animate them individually okay so we'll select this come to animate okay and i want to use the rotate okay so rotate so that it rotate and the speed should be slow and i'll do the same for this rotate they can make the speed faster and it can go you know anti-clockwise okay then we have the other one over here to select any element behind um an element on top i i hope you understand <laughs> press and hold control 
and keep clicking to select it okay then come to animate again we'll choose the rotate okay and it should be slower okay and we'll do this for this again and um, can see what we have over here so just feel free and be creative at this point okay and the multiple snowflakes we added we are just going to use the blur to make them fade in okay so add the blur animation to them individually okay yeah just so that your animation or yeah your reel would look very beautiful in the end okay so that's what we are going to do okay nice so now that we've done all of that the next thing we want to focus on is the text animation and this is the most interesting part for me so we'll start with the wishing you a happy so once we come into animate there are some new animations canva added and at this point just in case you are on the free version of canva want to try some of these pro animations in canva i have a link in the description box below that can help you try canva pro for free and um, this template is also available for anyone who uses canva and the link can also be found in the description box below but don't use it yet learn how to do it then after you can just I'll pick the template if you have to work with time okay so that is about it so make sure you're coming to uh we can use ascent okay so we can use ascent wishing you a happy okay then we reduce the speed so wishing you a happy and the christmas can come with the clarify okay so the speed can be also slower so you can see how it's looking all right or you can increase it so that we don't have to spend so much time waiting okay so i think this is fine and with these lines we are going to use the wipe animation for it okay so wipe and can reduce the speed a little bit okay so something okay i think this is fine and we'll choose this also okay and choose the opposite direction so that this is how they all come in and the speed should be the same that is beautiful then click on the end and just in case you can hear some noise my mom is actually chopping some meat outside so just pardon me so click on ascend for the end and the happy new year can also come with ascent okay if we play this animation this is how it's going to look and you can see how things are coming in it's not coming in in order so we want to work on that all right what we are going to do is we are going to select all of these animations the text all right and we'll right click come to show element timing okay so once you click on show element timing you should see this part okay everything should show this way all right so that's what we are going to do and uh, to ensure that we can work on this properly come to this side okay the zoom page option at this point is focusing on the design aspect but we want you to focus on our element timing over here so if you click on it it should change to the bottom and you saw it uh -huh. all right then we can just zoom in that's good okay so at this point the animation starts with wishing you a happy then we can reduce the christmas okay so after the christmas then the lines should come in together and i think the lines maybe yeah so when the lines come in and also follows okay and the happy new year comes after that okay so i think let's speed up the christmas because it takes a longer time okay so let's speed it up more good so i think this is better okay and to make it even more interesting what we can do is that we can add some audio okay and uh, you, as you can see i'm adding my headset so that we go into elements okay and elements come to audio over here okay click on audio and you can search for christmas okay so christmas and this is what we have we have a number of audios in here so we can just click and add it down over here increase it and I, I want mine to appear nicely so i'm going to crop and just move it here okay so let's see no 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 no. this is too you know it's too hard so it should be christmas instrumental and let's see 
No. Okay, so I found this one. I will, I want to use this one. Okay. So this is how it looks. Okay. So at least this is fine and we can do beat sync okay if you want to sync everything with the beats okay so we can do that so let's see how it works again okay I think I like it and yes, this is what we have been able to create inside of Canva. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it very interesting. And just in case you are looking for another tutorial, make sure to watch this tutorial to learn how to upload fonts inside of Canva. The name is Benjamin and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.